We are here with your new head coach of the Atlanta Hawks, Mike Budenholzer. Mike, first of all, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. This is a, a great opportunity and um, I'm looking forward to it. I know you still have a lot to take care of in San Antonio with the Spurs. You know, how has this experience been with this opportunity you have here in Atlanta? Well, it's hard to put into words with everything that's going on and these uh, two big time life experiences of making it to the finals and now being uh, named the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, it's been a whirlwind, but I'm really, really excited, really looking forward to working with, with Danny and ownership and the players and, and building something special here. Well, you spent 19 seasons in San Antonio, 17 of those as an assistant coach. Mm -hmm. What kind of led you here to, to this right here, right now to, in Atlanta? Well, I think Atlanta is a, a unique situation in that they have great ownership, they have a great GM, and they have a roster with a young core and, and a lot of flexibility going into the summer that it was just an opportunity that uh, I felt fit me and was, was just, it, it was going to take something special for me to, uh, to leave, but uh, this is something special. You talked about Danny Ferry a little bit already, but what is your relationship really like with him? You know, how long have you known him? Uh, Danny, I've, I guess it's probably 10, 11, 12 years. I can't remember his first year as a player in San Antonio, but uh, it's a great relationship. Uh, we give each other a hard time and we respect each other and we can disagree and agree and um, still come out and, uh, you know, come with, with something that, that's good for the group. And it's, uh, I think he and I, that partnership and working with him is, uh, is something that is, is really excites me as much or more than anything. Well, you're obviously very aware of the Hawks offseason situation. Mm -hmm. Four total draft picks, plenty of cap space and free agency. What are you most looking forward to as you look ahead to this 2013-14 season? I'm, I'm looking forward to building a team first and foremost with Danny and, and his group and as we put together staff. You know, I think that when you talk about draft picks and flexibility, building something special that, where we can sustain the success and um, creating a, a team and a, and a culture and environment where competitors are, are valued and we look at the competitive spirit, spirit of the team and individuals and um, you know players that are improving individually, a team that's improving from game to game and practice to practice. And uh, there's going to be a system where we're organized uh, defensively and offensively and uh, the players will know their roles, we'll hold them accountable. And so all of those things, uh, you know, are part of the 2013-2014 the season, and um, I can't wait to get started. Now, fans always like to know what coaches and players are like off of that basketball court. Mm -hmm. So can you give us an interesting tidbit to kind of let fans know who you are aside from coaching? Well, you know, I think with, with four young children, that becomes probably your biggest uh, priority in off the court uh, life. and. You know, obviously, like all of us, love love my kids and um, in doing things and music and sports and golfing and fishing and uh, they they've tried to get me to hunt in Texas, but I haven't done that much. But uh, so really, it's it's my family and, and being with them and doing things with them that that's uh, my off court uh, hobby. All right. Well, thank you. Congrats and good luck in the playoffs, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. All right. Great. Thank you.